Cool. So just landed in Kumshin. Did it for two nights? Two nights, yeah. Okay. A swimming pool, hot tub, restaurant, everything is just right here. Tomorrow for the rafting, you will leave at you will be on a full day rafting, so you'll leave at something like 9.30. Okay. So be there at the office by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, perfect. This is what came in the package for me here at the place. So not only are they servicing me with accommodation, but also mail. Oh, this is such an awesome special place. It's very family oriented, but it, there is something for everyone here. This is a rafting resort, but we're situated in the Fraser Canyon between large cities. Once you arrive, it's super relaxing. We have camping, a restaurant. Tonight, there's live music by the poolside. We also have a gazebo. Oh, we have all kinds of camping here, from teepees to canvas cabins. If you want to bring your RV, that we have a spot for you. And if you just want an old school tent, we have something for everyone at Camp Sheen. Wow, what a spectacular place. After so many days of riding, this is so worth it. Just check this out. I'm about to have breakfast and then we're gonna go whitewater rafting. Should be really interesting. It's one of the largest rafting places in the world, so let's take a look. Just got the Kumshin team right here. Oh, you missed the whole team. We've been navigating the twists and turns of the Trans Canada Highway, which is statistically the most dangerous part of the trip. We're just about to do the Thompson River, and um, I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did Kenya before and that was really intense. But this is like a full day. We're talking until 4 p.m. It's 10 a.m. now. So uh, oof, let's see where it goes from here. Taija. Oh, Taija. Oh, you're the Taj Mahal guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I, so, okay, first of all, let me gather my thoughts here for a second. We just did these rapids and we're going down the Thompson River and it's just really spectacular. But, funny story is, this guy who's leading the rapids is also from the Caribbean. In the middle of, okay, it's not nowhere, but it's in a very small town of 700 people. And, um, here he is. Hey, we'll be going down most of like class 3 bus rapids, but... Along with that, we'll have some of the biggest waves in North America, like on that you find on a river. Right after that, we've got the washboards named after um, a guide's Elliot's washboard apps. My washboards. <laughs> 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 um, shortly followed by the Devil's Kitchen, which is one of the biggest rapids of the day, probably. I uh, almost flipped one of the boats yesterday, which is going to be a really good time. I'm originally from Belize in the Caribbean. Um, my dad's from Canada, but my mom's from Belize, and he, I guess, I would travel back and forth between them, so that's how I ended up here. This guy has literally the best of both worlds. Like he gets to be in BC in the summertime, and then in the wintertime he gets to go to freaking the Caribbean. Like what? Like what? What better world can that be? <laughs> best of both worlds, basis right here. <laughs> that's dope. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go on our way. I think we got about five minutes, and then we're heading back on the. Uh, what are they called, sir? The Devil's Gorge. Yeah. So that the Devil's Gorge is like the name of the name and section of the river. So oh, okay. Because the gorge is like a canyon. Yeah. So we're gonna go on that, and I think we're halfway through now. We took a lunch break, and then we're gonna go again. And then at four o'clock, we're done. And we're gonna pack it up. Probably take a nice little nap at home. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Swim to the right, you guys. Swim to the right. I just survived this. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. Thanks a lot. Sweet <laughs>